Hey second graders, today you are writing an addition sentence with a missing add-end. Remember the add-ends are the two numbers you add together. One of them is missing in these sentences. To help you find that missing add-end, do the subtraction problem. Remember that the subtraction problem and the missing add-end will be the same. If you look up here, this kind of helps you to know what you're supposed to do. So he says, if you look up here, I want to have 15 books. I have seven books. How many more do I need? You can think of it as a part, part, whole mat with a missing part. So you have your seven here and you know that you have 15. How many more do you need to draw to get to 15? So I already have seven and maybe I, and I'm going to draw those bo books until I get to 15. It's like catch and count. Catch seven, count up to 15. So seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So how many dots did I draw? If you count them, we drew, and let's count. Let me get a little mouse here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So our missing add end would be eight. Okay, remember this box right, box right here stands for the missing part. You can write the related subtraction sentence to figure out what goes in this missing box. Okay, so 15 minus 7 equals 8. So 7 plus 8 equals 15. Remember these related addition problem and subtraction problems we did when we did um, the related facts? Okay, so let's get started. Let's read the directions. Find and write the missing number. Number one, five plus blank equals six. What plus five equals six? Well, if I know I'm at five and I count up to six, I just count up one. So five plus one equals six. That's the same as six minus five equals one. Number two, three plus what equals nine? Oops, so 9 minus 3 equals blank. So I'm going to catch 3, count up to 9 to see what goes in that box. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I have 6 fingers up, so 6 goes in this box. So we know that 9 minus 3 also equals 6. Okay, let's look at number 3. 7 plus what equals 10? Catch 7, count up to 10. 10 minus 7 will also give us our answer. So let's catch 7, count up to 10. So get your catching hand out. 7, 8, 9, 10. How many fingers do you have up? 3. So 3 goes in the box. Number 4. 2 plus what equals 7? So you can find that out by doing 7 minus 2. Catch 2, count up to 7. So here we go. Get your catching hand out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many fingers do you have up? Yes, you have five. Go ahead and write five in that box. Okay, we are on number five. Here we go. Nine plus what equals 13? Catch nine, get up to thir count up to 13. The same as 13 minus nine. So catch nine, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. How many fingers do you have up? One, two, three, four. Four is your answer. Now I know I'm kind of going out of the box. That's just because it's a little bit more difficult to write on the iPad. Please try to keep your numbers inside those boxes. And number six, four plus what equals 11? So it's the same as 11 minus four to find the answer, the missing part. Catch four. Count up to 11. Here we go. Get your catching hand out. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. How many fingers do you have up? Count those fingers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7 goes in the box. All right. Number 7. You're going to do on your own. The directions say find and write the missing numbers. Reminder, 
these boxes right here. They'll have the same number. Catch the smaller number and count up to nine, or the bigger number. Catch the smaller number, count up to the bigger number. Okay, you are on your own. Oh, except I want to help you with algebra just a little bit because sometimes those can be tricky. It says five and, and write the missing numbers. You know how to do this. It's the same things as above. The only thing is, they're kind of trying to trick you. They put the equal sign over here. So they just kind of wrote the problem backwards. So you're still finding the missing part. So catch six, count up to eight. Catch three, count up to four. That'll give you the missing parts. All right, the back. Find the missing number to solve. Number 15, Carl visits his grandmother. She lives 16 miles away. He has driven nine miles. How many more miles does he have to go? Again, catch nine and count up to 16. That'll give you your answer here, here, and here. Number 16, Susan has three stamps. She needs eight stamps. Which problem can help you find how many more stamps Susan needs? Okay, you need that eight and that three. If she's already at eight, and she, or if she's already at three and she needs eight, how are you gonna get to the next number? Number 17, guess what? Crossing it off. We will eventually do more of these, but right now we are not going to. All right, go ahead and turn your paper into the turn-in basket, and then you can do front row or flashcards. If you get done with the fr front row assignment I've given you, you may get on Epic Books, but only if you're done with the assignment I gave you. All right. Remember, turn this into the turn-in basket.